Yo, it's Dapper Inez. Drop another review on y'all. And this time, what we're going to be doing a review of is the... Bam! This is the Sunbeam Hot to Trot Travel Iron. Now, the reason why I got this was because I'm uh, starting to do a couple uh, little custom uh, jerseys. You know, everybody knows I'm a Cowboys fan. And, um... Instead of going out and spending all this money on all kinds of jerseys, which, you know, I kind of tend to do. I figured, hey, why, why don't I just uh, make my own custom jerseys? And um, and right now, I'm using my home iron, which is fine, you know. But um, I need something a little smaller for my little workspace I have down here. I use this same table. You know, I throw a little, you know, towel down, you know, something like that. So that way, when I'm ironing, so, you know, this is dual purpose, you know. I don't have the biggest space, you know. Everybody knows that I have all sorts of uh, Cowboys jerseys, but this is a custom one that I made, which I'm going to be uh, putting online. You know, if anybody wants anything like this, I may uh, put some up there for sale for not for expensive, you know, letting you know this is by no means um, legally licensed product by the NFL or anything like that. This is just my custom, you know, you can't buy this anywhere. This is custom made by me, you know, but basically... I want to uh, start making them and I needed a little compact iron. Now, the trick is most compact irons don't have um, um, enough power to produce enough heat to do something like this. But um, this iron, it claims to have enough power. Um, it says it has, um, as you see right here, it says it has 800 watts. So the iron that I've been using is 1200, so this is just short of it. Um, so we're going to see, you know, I may have to hold it down a little bit longer, but we'll see, you know, I, I'm going to trade, uh, power and, uh, and, um, wattage for, um, size and portability. So we'll, we'll check it out and, uh, you may iron on a demo just to check, see how it works. So let's just get right into this. This is the front of the box right here. Bam. Side. You can pause and read that stuff if you like. Got your website right there. Other side right here, some uh, little some artwork and uh, examples of what you know what it could do or you know features I should say. This is the back of the iron, same as the front. This is the top, more artwork, and this is the bottom, all the good stuff. There's your barcode. If you need to contact them, bam. That's how you contact them right there and uh, I'm trying to and like everything else there you go made in China all right so let's get right into the box okay got some literature right there it's an iron how hard could it be but it's there for you if you need if you need that. There goes your model number in case you need to look for it. But I'll be will be putting links in the description so you can find it easy. Okay. Oh wow, it's in here. Ugh. All right. Set this box to the side there. All right. Put this back in the box. iron and a long long cord all right now this is my hand with the iron it's about how big it is just so you can see this is about a third of the size of an actual iron let's take a look around it on this side you got some steam buttons right there got your little max fill line for your water fill simply reliable says we'll find out 800 watts right on here on the back, got some some uh, FCC crap on this side. This is where the plug comes out. Got your steam button on this side too. On the top, you got your steam on and off switch, and you got your your heat regulator. All right, bam! Right now it's on the minimum, and that's your looks like your red light indicator. And then the bottom is your heat plate. Nice and smooth to the touch. That's what she said. 
and over here you have your voltage uh, switch 120 or 240 I'm in the United States so of course I'm using 120 but this is European ready the only thing they don't provide is an adapter a European adapter so you would have to get that if you plan on going to Europe and carrying the iron with you just throwing it out there okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up here a little bit to iron something I'm going to plug this in let this heat up um, see how long it takes to heat up and uh and go from there so uh i'll catch you on the flip okay we back in got a little setup going here um i know she knows the different color of the jersey i'm doing the jersey for my uncle who happens to be a giants fan boo but um i'm doing a jersey for him uh so let me go plug this in right now and we're gonna see how long it takes for her to heat up Sure. Yep, it's all plugged in. All right. Okay, just turned it on. I'm going to put it on max. And we're going to see how long it takes to heat up. Sit that right there. Timing it. Right now it's 1023. Hopefully it doesn't take a, a whole minute while that's heating up. I'm going to go ahead and place some of these letters. I want to do here all right oh it's heating up pretty fast I tell you that it's not even a full minute before I set that out there I want to go over do a once over with the iron Wow, this bad boy is already heated up and this bad boy is hot. So let's go over it with the iron here. Just to iron out the area. Yep, this bad boy is hot. This bad boy is piping hot. So. All right, so. Hope I can get this right without screwing it up. All right. No, it looks like it's a little off. Let me see if I can adjust it slightly. Bring bring everything over a little bit more. I should be using a ruler or some crap, but it's all custom made by me. So every one that's out there is going to be different. There's going to be no duplicates. I just bumped it with my head. Bring this wide down a little bit. Yep, that looks good enough. I'm going to probably come over a little bit more. Yep, that looks good.
that looks good and just all right ain't gonna get any better okay iron let's see what we're working with see what you could do nice long cord I have to say Bam. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cool off a little bit, speed up the video, and then we're going to peel this off, see how she looks. Okay. Bam. Look at that. And this is on there, and this is looking, and this this is on there really good. Let me tell you, this iron is awesome. I found myself a winner, winner, winner chicken dinner, and the price is awesome too. So let me tell you, this right here, this iron right here, this iron right here, the hot to trot is definitely hot to trot. So I'm gonna say this is a definite buy, definitely get this, the Sunbeam hot to trot. Hey, yo, what did I pay for this? I think I paid 12 bucks for this. 12 bucks for an 800 watt iron that is gets plenty hot for to pretty much iron anything. If I could do iron on transfers, this will iron anything. So, with that being said, this has been the official review of the Sunbeam Hot to Trot Traveling Iron. I'll put the links in the description so you can definitely cop this. Definitely cop this. I'm Dap Brunez. And I'm out this piece.